sorry. <laughs> That's a bop. Me too. It was. I was just going to say that. Ah! No, it is. It really is. It's such a bop. It's like, it's like doom, doom, doom. I'm like, like yeah. Yes. I'm up here I grooving. <laughs> it's so good. I love that name, the Angry Latina Lawyer. I saw that. Can, can I tell you? I was going to be like, I was going to say something too. I was like, it's a great name. <laughs> it's really like. It's so good. It's so I, good. Sometimes people have handles and I'm like, I should have come up with that. I mean, mm. obviously I can't be an angry Latina lawyer and I can't be no, an angry either. black lawyer because I'm not a lawyer, but still <laughs> I want, I watched them on TV. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to use the terms conjecture. I mean, Your Honor, like you got a law conjecture. degree. <laughs> Sounds like you got a law degree. Thank you. Okay. Right. Mm. <laughs> Leading the witness. Thank yes. you. <sighs> You're welcome. I, what would I be? I guess if I say angry white lady, it just sounds like a Karen, right? So I think it's just like that's the standard, the default, though. Like, <laughs> and, then I, <laughs> and then I think I get a whole audience of like things I don't want. So it has to be. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Wait, um, I got to tell you before I forget because my ADHD. Okay, I've been yeah. holding on to this okay. forever because yeah. I I watch um S and G's like do you know the the podcast with the two British black dudes? Yes, yes, yes. And on one of them, they were talking about like things that people have said that like let you know that they were attractive, unattractive. And on one of them, he goes, She had a forehead so big she could smoke a cigarette in the rain. <laughs> oh my oh, <laughs> You know what? It's oddly specific, but I understand exactly what that means. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I like, as soon as I heard that, I was like, I, like, my whole stomach. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, I've got to hold on to this for Teresa. Teresa has to hear this. As a former smoker, I approve of that Listen, joke. I do. It's I do. also like, it would be helpful if I could protrude my forehead just for that. Yeah. <laughs> I know it is terribly, terribly <laughs> hilarious. Like <laughs> Bethany, way harsh yeah. tie. <laughs> Listen, I know it's true. <laughs> Hi, babies. Hello, people. Hello, everybody. I know. How are y'all doing? So excited. See my Emily, my Emily, my Emily. I haven't seen you in such a long time, baby. Bear. Listen, baby bear. Listen, come back. Come, come here. Come we here. We were just chatting. In the middle somewhere. We were just chatting a little bit ago about things and stuff and things because well, so, you know, like I, I basically just took like a, like I hid from my channel. Yeah. <laughs> As one does. Yeah. 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 Because like <laughs> Time. regularly, you know, my streams get like one to five K is like a really good stream for me. I'm like, I just destroyed the world. Like, yes. It's and I can handle that done, for the most yeah. part. Yeah. This last one just it, it got too big, and I was like, I have to go. <laughs> like my anxiety got a hold of me. I was like, I oh, have no. to leave. Like no. I was like, I will see y'all later when I am not stressed out. Because like <laughs> the anxiety got a hold. I was like, I can't be that interesting all the time. <laughs> I had really good material to work with. And, and <laughs> yeah, I can't. <laughs> So I've just been like hiding on Twitch and like um, um, working a lot. But yeah. 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 I get the whole working thing. That sucks. But for those that haven't seen it, definitely <laughs> just cause more anxiety for right? <laughs> just just go to the out. channel and uh, go check out it. Because I, this is what oh I love about channel. Audra is that Audra will fill me in on the tea. I'm like an ostrich. I always have my head in the ground. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And then if I'm Marco Poloing Audra, Audra will drop like these weird nuggets of like, this is what's going on today in the internet. And I'm like, what? And then <laughs> Audra will fill me in on all this stuff. So I actually didn't even know about the whole Michaela thing. Yeah. I don't, you know, I'm like, whatever. I don't care. I don't really care or not care about me. Like she just exists to me. It's like, yeah. Hey, it's like, I'm you old. Know? I don't care. I'm not her I'm old. I know. I'm old. I like, am a woman of a certain age. I don't thank care. Thank you. Well, good so for her. There's Make so much stuff that happens in these space. Yeah. Spaces where they're like, oh, did you hear? I'm like, how old is that creator? And then they'll tell me, yes, I'm ageist. Eat it. And they'll tell me like, <laughs> oh, they're 22. I'm like, bitch, well, I'm 43 years old. Right. 
Yeah. What makes you think <laughs> I'm watching a 22 year old beauty creator, mm -hmm. not yeah. in a rude way, but in a, I have wrinkles and like crevices. Right. We, <laughs> I have things. Mm -hmm. I think it's older than she is. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> for sure. My no, personal pleasure toy just turned 21. Like it's like, we can't. Okay. Wait a second. I have questions. I have questions. I have questions. Ask the question. Um, Okay. <laughs> are you being for real? Or are you being physique? I'm Please. dead serious. Wow. Okay. First of all, kudos to you for like not burning it out. Right. Right. <laughs> Cause I feel like those things it's... have a, like a lifespan and it's not what it's longer than most animals. I am. I take very good care of it. I de-rust wow. the little battery area. It is, it is starting to get a bit long in the you, tooth. <laughs> you literally said de-rust. I'm fucking dead right now. Are we, I, oh. you know, because... I'm not going to lie. I'm curious. I would love to see it, but I mean, that's a whole other, that's behind a paywall. Sorry guys, but. Here's the thing. <laughs> oh, okay. I like what personal pleasure tools got out of hand. All right. They started doing <laughs> okay. too much. And I just want the basics. You you don't I, want like a Bluetooth like speaker yeah, and like orders order like Uber Eats. No? Thank you. No, like I don't <laughs> want like it to hop across the room to me. Like I'm <laughs> fine. I just want to turn the knob. Okay. And be like, bzzz, <laughs> and like that's it. I don't want it to like. I don't want all the other like settings like like. Mer, mer, Oh, the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I don't want any of that. I just wanted to. <laughs> like, that's all I want. Like, I yeah. don't want the any of the up. extras. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I don't. I can't. It's hard to find ones that just are shaped like a bullet. <laughs> don't do yes. anything extra. Yes. Yeah. I don't want the extra. Like, I get it. You know, I'm like, mm. I just want a cheese pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to have pineapple or ham on it. I just want it to be extra cheese. Like, I'm God good. bless y'all out there who get the works. Like, I I don't, I, I want to understand your life because I feel like it's magical. And I, I wish I wasn't boring, but I can't hand like i every time i try to get a new one i'm like oh it's doing it's doing too yeah. much. i just i i'm sad i spent the money and you're doing too much and i'm just gonna put you in a drawer where you're gonna live until the end of time i get that i mean i listen i understand completely because i am someone that wants something simple however i will say when i did have a couple of sponsorships with Belessa, they sent me some of their toys over and i mean some of their toys i at first i was like scratching my head like how the fuck do i use it it looks like a c shell there's yeah. like a little opening that makes me think it's like a baby stingray what the fuck do i do with this but once i figured it out i was like okay i didn't expect <laughs> that and uh i'm it's it, yes yeah it claps all around but you kind of have to be in the mood for that because sometimes you're just like i want to get it in get it done yeah i got shit to do today unless you're having like or a i have like a migraine yeah. Sometimes okay. I'll be like on the cusp of a migraine yeah. and an O, oh, the endorphin rush can like help push that back while I'm waiting for the medicine to kick in. So, nice. You know, and you need to be quick. Yeah. I don't really want to be like, I don't really like to be doing it for longer than five minutes. That's a <laughs> long time. <laughs> First of all, I feel like there's someone out there that this happened to. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Yes, I'm Sandra. Sure of it sure of it oh my god oh yeah baby you are here for the most <laughs> disgusting part of the show today right? i'm so sorry oh, that's my fault i brought it up like <laughs> but it just i don't like they're just it's fascinating it, and it's got the like the hooky thing and i'm like i don't want any of that lee yeah. i don't like i you, you know i'm a and I don't like the penetration, so like keep oh, yeah, that no. away from me. No, that's just I, I don't do the pen. No, I don't do that. That's just that is just that is just too much. <laughs> it seems like that's excessive. Is that excessive? Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm giving myself um like a gynecological exam at Thank that point. You. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> like, hello. Like I don't want to do any of that. I don't stuff. like it. I'm no. like, no, just be <laughs> no. on the outside. Just yeah, exactly. 
be on the outside like, and make it fast because I yeah have I got food. things to do <laughs> and like I live with my mom now <laughs> you know what I mean like sometimes she sneaks upstairs like I don't want an awkward encounter Listen, and your house is quiet so it wouldn't surprise me that you don't hear it <laughs> and my mom's a creep corner. like she just like the way that she rolls around she oh. like I love my mom so much yeah. but when she like if she were up here she would just be like standing in the darkness That's waiting. Terrifying. Thank you. It's terrifying. It's she's scary. She just stands there, like waiting in the dark for me to turn and say something. And when I do, I'm like, ah, and she's like, ah. and I'm like, why have you been quietly? Well, well, I didn't know if you were alive. And I'm like, just come so in sweet. because this is awkward. <laughs> like, You're scaring shit out of me. <laughs> So I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be in there, you know, <laughs> on the stairway to heaven. Yeah. Oh, I and get like, that. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. open the door and she's like, ah, I tried. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that has happened to me when I was living in Queens. And I, so we had like a two family house. And this is like before Alex. This is like, what, like 20 something years ago or whatever. And I lived downstairs my mom lived upstairs and I thought nobody was home. And so whatever, just taking myself to dinner, whatever. And I will never forget just like the kitchen door opening and my mom just being like, can you help me with the groceries? And it was like mid just climax. And then I don't think I masturbated for like a good, like six <laughs> months after. Cause I was like, this is all I think about. Really and I'm myself. Yeah. I was just like, mm -mm, I'm going to be on a list. I can't. <laughs> so, like, There's no. nothing worse than the surprise. Like you're like, Huh, yeah. And then somebody shows up and you're like, <laughs> I know, I know. And it's like, it doesn't really come out. It just more like gets confused and then you just <laughs> like weird the gets... whole day. I swear, like, yeah. if I had been paying attention to this kind of stuff, I would have known I was ace when I was married because, like, you know, my ex husband's a piece of shit anyway. But yeah. when I thought he wasn't, I, <laughs> he would literally be like, hey, so are you? I'm like, no, I just want to like take a shower and go to bed. He's like, all right. So he'd get in the shower and I'd wait for him to be in the shower and then be like, and then I go take Like, I don't have time for this. I was like, oh, I just don't want to do it with you. No, like, I want to do it with you. myself. Not <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get that. Yeah, I get I was that. Like, yeah. mm. I was like, I always prefer, like, I like hanging out with you. Yeah. But don't do no. that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like don't and i felt like that in all relationships afterwards i was like this is so good but then you wanted to do that yeah we you were having such it. a good time going to dinner and watching movies like, and then no. you were like so and i was like <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. Yeah, I get that. I totally get that. I'm I'm very I'm very fortunate and lucky to have my Alex, my my baby Alex. Cause I was actually even talking about with coworkers. So I had a, like a work trip, what was the last weekend? And I have one coworker who is um see or uh, she's like divorce she's like getting a divorce or whatever but like they're trying to find you know whatever new people and she was showing me like her hinge Oh my oh, god. god, people that are on there are terrifying, but also, I mean, it's like really just fun to watch, like look, and yeah. Stuff. But I was like, I, I don't even, mm -hmm. yeah. I well, I whenever I would get on there, I would yeah. get like people who would message me and they'd be like, Are you real? And I was like, The fuck does that mean? Are you real? I, like, you're a I sex think, robot? Like, what are you? I'm I, confused. I think that there are a lot of fake profiles. So I guess in a way it's a compliment because like you're too thank hot to be a real person, which thank you. But I mean, like I also, <laughs> <laughs> but like I'm just like I yes I'm a human being, but like I I didn't enjoy because how it's you can't they are not up to date with where we yeah. are in dating. Yeah. So no. like your preferences, it's just like I'm like um I am pan and I don't date cis men. Yeah, I am ace. Um, like so like who? So where do you like? How do you? Because everybody who matches with you is like, and, and you have to put, and men don't read. So if you put that in there, they're like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Alex. Yes, Alex, I am real. 
I'm a human. <laughs> I tell people I'm a catfish. <laughs> yeah, Eve has it. Loads of fake profiles or working girls, cam girls on those apps. That's what it is. Got it. Okay. So they think you're like, okay. and I'm just like, oh. I'm not. But I just like, like don't you. ever have the energy to attempt to date because that's too much yeah. work. It, it like, seems like it. A man asked for my number when I was working on my route and I gave it to him because like I want to live, obviously. So it's like take my phone number. I don't have to answer yeah. your calls. Um and so <laughs> listen, <laughs> times are weird. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. So I'm just like, here's my phone number so that you don't murder me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no he hasn't I, really I, bothered me so, like he texted me a good. couple times and every yeah. time i texted back it was just like i'm asleep <laughs> Bye. I'm like if i'm not <laughs> sleeping Please. i'm playing cyberpunk yeah <laughs> like, what do you want i don't have time for you sorry yeah i'm no. like unless you really are gonna take me for the food portion which that's the first thing i said he's like i'd like to take you out for lunch or something and i was like i eat a lot of food like yeah. that was <laughs> Where are we I going? Eat a lot of food. <laughs> I, I there's a misconception, and I cleared this up. That was like one of my big Twitter hits back in the Twitter days, where some guy was talking about date you a skinny chick because you don't have to worry about spending money on food. And I was like, sir, you are sadly yeah. mistaken yeah. because skinny chicks will eat you out of house and home. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you will be crying when we're done yeah. with you. Okay. We will eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god people are so fucking stupid. wandering around like, looking for your pet lizard and we ate it <laughs> you didn't have any food in the house <laughs> I, in my head i just imagine a skeleton just like just <laughs> sorry i was hungry you didn't have like, anything you didn't have any food <laughs> <laughs> so you're like i, I had all of this i didn't want that <laughs> <laughs> I could never. I mean, I even with like the dating thing, like the hinge stuff. I even told Alex, I'm like, listen, if one of us like winds up if one of us, more like him, right? Because then if I'm dead, I'm dead. But like if he like died or we just, I don't know, fizzled out, didn't work out or whatever, I don't think I could date anybody. I'd rather just be single for the rest of my yeah, life. It's awesome. I rather yeah, people are just fucking nightmares. I don't want to deal with anybody. And I'm a nightmare. Like, I don't want to deal with that shit. To get I to know somebody, yeah, just that. Like, I no. I don't know. Here's the thing. When you date, you have to do all this. And here's the thing, maybe because like I'm a neurodivergent person, I don't understand why our date is awkward. If mm -hmm. every, like you message me on the profile, you say, what are you into? And I'm like, can you read? Because I promise I put that in the profile. <laughs> oh, what kind of movies do you like? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Can you read again? Because I'm pretty <laughs> I confident I put read. that in there. <laughs> I don't want to have this conversation because mm. the whole point of this was we were breaking the ice to get yeah. to the, hey, so I noticed that you also enjoy horror films. So do I. What's your favorite horror movie? And yeah. then I can go, you can't choose amongst your favorite children, but I do like X, Y, and Z. That's what I'm saying. So it's just, it's, yeah. it's weird. And then on top of all of that, like, I don't like people in real life romantically. Yeah. I like the idea. Like right now, I have a very sexy romance in my head that's been going on for a while about a girl. She is dating a vampire. The Fae have just come out. The vampires and the shifters are not coming out. And they're not coming out because human beings can't deal with that. <laughs> Um, cause they can deal with Faye, even though, because like Faye to them are just like pretty. Right. But they also don't know that Faye are incredibly cruel. They're just like, oh, so pretty. Anyway, she's dating a vampire, but she has cancer and she's dying. <laughs> this sounds terrible. I, I wish somebody could clip just my face as you were saying. Cause I was like, like, I was trying to, I was like following you and I was like, is this, I don't, is this real? I don't know if this is real. I don't, no, I think, I, I don't like, know. That's how my brain works. Listen, I when I say I'm disassociated like 95% of the time, this is where I am. This is where I am. Blood where Audra lives? I don't know. It sounds like, like her blood. mom has worked as like a janitor and she's like the head of his housekeeping for his um, firm, which it, they handle celebrities and stuff like that. They're a PR firm for celebrities. And most of them are supernatural creatures or whatever. But like... Okay. He, he, she, the mom doesn't know this, but he has been like 
every week he puts a drop of his blood in like her because she in her coffee she doesn't know this but it's like to keep her around and keep her alive like whatever anyway her mom is there and her mom knows that he's a vampire and she's trying to save her daughter who is gonna you know she has cancer and she's gonna die so she's like hey can you help her out anyway they're falling in love oh, okay, okay. <laughs> they're falling in love <laughs> And now, right now, she's in the questioning stage of whether or not she's going to be turned into a vampire. Okay. Okay. She's okay. She's like, should I do this? Should yeah. I not? And he's like, my love, it's for you. Like, there's a whole sex scene yeah. oh. where she's, like, a little worried, you know, after it all happens. Like, and she gets up and she's, like, thinking that he has he has gone. He's left her. Mm -hmm. And then he comes in the room with breakfast and she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I thought you were just going to, like, <laughs> leave. And he's like, and he says, he says vampires don't have flings we have obsessions i mean that's kind of bitch i'm like <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, hey, hey. <laughs> um fuck um i and that's that's where i am all day every day I, i'm like I love the it. amount of novels that happen in my brain and like that's where i live 24 like you know i'll just, just uh, <laughs> everybody's like where do i find the story it's just it's all in here it's like here. i just write them all day <laughs> so like why would i want to date if you're no. not a vampire mobster if you're not like a fey prince who i shouldn't love and we shouldn't be together but somehow we're yeah. making it if yeah. you're not a very very sexy siren like why am i even dating you what are we doing i what first of all what are you doing working when you could be pumping this, this <laughs> shit out and creating fucking billion dollar franchises <laughs> and you know what i mean like you don't have to work a day in your life if you just spit at least 10 percent of what you fucking said out there you know there are people that there are so many people that'd be like yes give me more what are you doing i don't Stop listen working. Stop I, if working. i could just like settle down and do my creatives i would you know but like Look at how many people are like i'd buy it i want to read it where is it where is it <laughs> <laughs> I was like, listen, like I just because I can't imagine, like if I go on a date with somebody and they're like, not like I'd burn down the world for you. I don't know what we're even doing. Listen, I'm clutching my pearls right now. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm happily married. I'm just like, Alex, you need to start saying that to me. <laughs> burn down this whole fucking village that we live in right now. I'm like, yeah, thank you. I'm like, if you're not gonna destroy everything for our love, then like, I'm lock off. <laughs> just go away. No. Like I these men it. are out here like, oh, I'll buy you a Birkin. I'm like, fuck off. Your Birkin. You're gonna suck my blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking commitment, okay? <laughs> That's some bullshit leather product, all right. <laughs> <laughs> fuck a Birkin, suck my blood. All right. If anyone Thank remembers you. anything today, fuck a Birkin, suck my blood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> An Audra novel expose. You know what, Kendall? You might be right. Like, I'm gonna have to start writing this shit. Yeah. Just be like, yeah. But I'm I am you. doing like my like listening to books, which is it's a whole other thing. When you listen to books, when I have time to actually start reviewing some of the books for the channel I created, <laughs> that Audra listens to books and I haven't put anything on it. But it's, it's like a good thing. Work. Yeah. It's because. When you have a book in hand and you're reading it, like, yeah. and I have to say, like, a paper, paper book or a hardback, not your Kindle, like, none of that. You can forgive a lot of things that the writer does because yeah. you can skip things. If there's too much sexy stuff going on where you're like, I want to get to the story, you can skip it. Yeah. But when you're listening to it, you don't really have that option. No. And you, you find forced. out a lot about authors right there where you're like, so whimpered is y'all's word of choice then. She whimpered. Whimpered, <laughs> whimpered, I whimpered, whimpered. I like every I've time a man whimpered. does anything to them, they're like, it's whimpered. Oh. <laughs> and that's how oh. like the authors, like the oh. narrators tend to say it. I whimpered. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> it's a little awkward. You're like, Ugh. but I, I told you about the one that I was reading where the guy sounded like Batman. Oh yeah. That was funny. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I was like, bro. <laughs> Like, stop reading these sex scenes like this. <laughs> I've never, you know, I have to, okay, so Alex, he listens to audiobooks when he, like, had to drive for work and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, when he used to work for, like, that weird lab company collecting people's urine and specimen samples and stuff. Oh, so he's fun. 
Oh yeah, the shit that he told me on that fucking those car rides are insanity. But he would listen to all kinds of books and stuff. And for me, I would try to get into it and I couldn't get into it. So the only way that I can read, I haven't I haven't been able to read a book in a long time. I need to be on a train. It needs to be filled with a bunch of people and I need to be doing this. <laughs> and this is the only thing that can make me read. And if I try to sit in a room and it's quiet and read, all I could focus on is like hearing like little noises or my breathing, or I hear like a fucking car horn, you know, three miles away. And it's like, I get lost. Like, I'm like, I can't read. I can't focus. I need to be violently jostled. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I'm, I was, I actually said to Alex, I'm like, maybe I should just like pay someone. I don't know. Like whatever minimum wage is here, just to fucking shake me for two hours a day, just so I can read. You're like, and I need like, to read and I need you to jostle me around. <laughs> yes. um, and if possible, could you accidentally spill some beverage on me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And just say, what the fuck are you doing? Just do that. Yell. Someone throw up in a corner or shit somewhere. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, this book is so good. <laughs> this is a page turner. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> See, like I, I well, I do it at work. Like it all started with Britney Spears. So she put out her memoir. <laughs> Listen, that sounds I didn't expect you to say that. And I almost spit it all over the place. And I know I would have ruined Alex's computer setup, <laughs> but that hurt. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't expect you to say Britney Spears. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> it started with Britney Spears because she was putting out her her book. And like the, I can't, I don't have time to read because I'm I'm working 12 hour days. Yeah. So it's like, I was like, okay. And somebody was like, well, try an audio book. And I was like, because normally I can't. Yeah. But now, because yeah, I'm exactly. actively doing something while I listen, I like book after. I know people have whatever it is they have on Sarah J. Moss. I don't know her backstory and I don't want to know. Don't ruin it for me. I've got to finish this, this story. <laughs> it's 34 hours. I've been mm -hmm. listening to these books. Some of them are great. Some of them I just didn't even finish at all. And some yeah. of them I'm just like, <laughs> got it like wait did you watch complete change of subject did you watch the new pet cemetery no 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 no, no. Like is zombies. it is it worth it no <sighs> i don't okay. know how it became a zombie movie <sighs> so that's disappointing because it's like i get kind of where they're getting it from mm -hmm. right because like kind of zombie yeah like, it comes back they come back but it's not a zombie mm, okay so not worth it it it's is on I paramount was upset, right yeah paramount? it's on paramount plus okay i was gonna watch it guess not anymore i did it i didn't enjoy it okay i like okay. Both, I just randomly watched both jack reacher movies i didn't even know that there were two i knew that there was one jack reacher movie which one's jack reacher Tom Cruise being like, oh, I'm Jack oh, oh. Reacher. Oh, okay. And he'll be like, <laughs> to me, two things are going to happen. One, <laughs> that phone is going to ring. And two, you're going to leave in handcuffs because I'm motherfucking Jack Reacher. I'm sorry. Okay. It's not what First he says. First of all, <laughs> that kind of sounds like something I would want to watch right now. Just it's saying. good. Like, it's good. I love shitty action. Like, just oh, I ridiculous. Love action. I love action. I watched know. all of the, um, um, in, 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 what are they called? They're not impossibles. The uh, expendables. Every last one. <sighs> I wanted to like the Expendables more. I wanted to like it more. I, I was very excited because I'm like, oh, these are the people that I grew up with in the 80s and stuff like that. And then I was like, oh. is it all of the surgery? I think maybe that's what's taking me out of it is that their faces just look like Mr. Potato Head dolls. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're fucking rearranged. And I'm like, ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, save some more money next time for surgery. I don't know where the fuck you're going. <laughs> So <laughs> I, that is a, like, can someone tell Sly that enough is enough? Because mm -hmm. yeah, he he's not, really he's starting real. to look like. He's not real. Thank you. And that everywhere he goes, he's asking for the manager. And I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> like, I'm like, bro, I need you to stop, no, please. No. Like, I don't like to make fun of how people look, but like, this is out of hand. And are we all pretending? Yeah, so we don't see this. Like, <laughs> it's all normal. This is normal. It's fine. It's fine. Because it's no. like his looks like that, and then Jean Claude Van Damme just. I'm sorry. Say, can you say his name again? Jean Claude Van Damme. 
That's right. I just, I love that. Because I'm <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme. Like, I sound so like, eh, eh, eh. No, Jean-Claude no I'm that asshole who likes to pronounce things. Like, there's a whole oh. TikTok account that makes fun of people like me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I Jean -Claude Van Damme. finished. <laughs> oh, I love Jean-Claude Van Damme. I love that. Okay. See, for me, I like I love action movies, but I think one of my sickest, uh, guiltiest pleasures is the Ocean's Eleven series. I will stop what I'm doing and watch all of, like Ocean's Eleven, 12, 13, 50. I will just watch them all. I think it was a period of time where we stopped watching them. Like we finished it. And then I was like, let's do it again. And Alex is like, okay. And it just was my comfort. I don't know why. I don't like George Clooney. I, me neither. But I was just like, yes. And the story makes literally no sense. But it I'm doesn't. Like, I'm here for that. They're this. like, dun 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 The simplest like, things, eating fries. And I'm like, yeah. And, like at the end when they do the reveal, you're like, I'm still confused. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so Like bad, I always but... sit there at the end. I'm like, no, you revealed it. <laughs> I so it doesn't make sense though. It doesn't. You're trying to tell me it makes it. Y'all did the same thing with the Italian job. Like y'all <laughs> always do these movies where you would do a reveal. And I'm still like. I couldn't with the Italian job. I I, I wanted Zany Ocean's Eleven. I wanted that. And then we were trying to find every heist movie possible. So like, we're like, okay, Italian job. I've never seen National Treasure. So we watched National Treasure, which I mean, listen, Nicolas Cage is a fucking National Treasure in my opinion. Thank you. And I have a coworker who literally the first time meeting her the other uh, last weekend, she wore fucking Nicolas Cage, like fucking tights. And I just was like, you're my people. Where did she like, get them? I, somewhere on the internet. <laughs> and I was just like, this is amazing. But apparently she went around and I think she got lunch somewhere and one person knew who he was. And someone else was like, I don't know who he is, but like those tights are amazing. And I'm like, how, first, how do you not know who Nicolas Cage is? He's a shirt with being... Nicolas Cage's face. <sighs> Nicolas is his, his, his cage. Maybe that's what we should get. <laughs> I know. Well, we like, should get our like twin a shirt. <laughs> yes. And it'd be like Nicholas Cage doing like that face where he's like, you know, that one you were talking yes. about. Yeah. <laughs> like, absolutely. Because I just saw his like that Five Nights at Freddy's. It's not Five Nights at Freddy's. Do you know what I'm talking about? That movie yes, where he works with the yes. mechanical. Yes, like, I didn't see that one, but yes, I know you're it's talking a joy. about. Joy. Oh, I feel like anything he does is a fucking. It's joy. a joy. It's, a it's such a good time. Shittier was, the better. I love it. Mm -mm. Jurassic okay. Park. Somebody said that Jurassic Park was one of their like. It should have never had any sequels because they they didn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Because agreed, agreed. You have a park with dinosaurs. It you would feel you would think that after the second time. Okay, because you know we're humans, we can make mistakes. But you would think after the second do. time, It'd it ends enough. with screaming and blood. They would just be like, "Let's let's not go back to the island. Yeah, let's poison everything there. Yeah, let it go. Like, yeah." And then they made the third one, and then they were like, "And we're gonna make three more Jurassic Parks." I, I can't fathom. I know how they were like Jurassic World, and. I can't get into those. I can't. Like, I tried to watch it, and he's all like, Ugh, like, bad Chris is on there, being like, Velociraptor, Velociraptor. And I'm like, bro, this is so, not, this isn't what we can Because they tried to make him into that British guy who was like, clever girl, before he yeah, got in. Yes, yes. They tried, and it was like, nope, this is not it. I yeah, and that dude care. was iconic. Iconic. Like, I, listen, before I understood what a lady boner was, <laughs> I had a lady boner for that man because there was something. There's many people at like you know Axel yeah. Rose from Guns yeah. like pre whatever has happened. Oh now. yeah, I potato head. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. 80s yeah. 90s Axel when yeah. he was like yeah. like yeah. that. But like, <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> but like, also, nobody... like, I understood exactly what you mean. I was like, you know, I get that. I know you were like, I was like, 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 yeah, no, that Axel Rose. I'm like, yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. Yeah. So like. <laughs> Because he was all like, no, velociraptors are dangerous, you know? And he was like yeah. fucking pissed off about the park from jump. He, he like didn't even like yeah. that they had the park, but he was like, but somebody's got to do this job and I'm going to do it. Yeah. That dude did it for me. I, this is the thing that I've had to discover about when I find a white man attractive. <laughs> he is usually elderly. <laughs> 
And Why he did has, I know you were going to say that? <laughs> he has a gravelly voice. All right. Yeah. Chicago PD. He's like, yeah, we're going to do this. We got to find this guy. And I'm like, he is not hot. No. He looks terrible. But like, if you talk to me like that, it's done. It's a wrap. <laughs> because like I was watching The Negotiator. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, the like raspy old white guy who's just like, you better give me this. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> this is getting me wet. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> like, there's just something okay. about the way that they're like all like, yeah. The Listen, people are in here. They know what I'm talking about. Oh, I know. <laughs> I get it. I get. By the way, someone commented Gary Oldman. They're like, when Gary Oldman was hot, Gary Oldman, he could totally, he could get it. Gary Oldman. Have you seen on TikTok? There's like, I don't know who this model is. Um, I'm not sure of their ethnicity. However, mm -hmm. they've been like saying like he's got long silver hair and he's wearing a silver outfit, and they're like Draco Malfoy's dad on the way to like beat up some. <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah, like, now I will fucking see it later. And there's also one where somebody took like their Barbie head <laughs> and like put long hair on it. It was like whooshing it around. Like, what the? F what part of people? TikTok are you on? I'm on Black Talk. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, understandable. Yeah. yeah the okay. black side of TikTok just like does you because like the thing is <laughs> when I say Black Talk. There yeah. are white creators in Black yeah. Talk, but like a large amount of Black right. creators see the same white creators because they fuck with us, we fuck with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's totally like a reciprocal. Sense. So that's Got what it. we see over there. And we're all like <laughs> laughing, carrying on. <laughs> also, we're all having a good time over there. Okay. <laughs> oh, Fastbender, hell yeah. Michael Fastbender? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get, oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he does things for me. Oh, for sure. Kurt Russell sure. did it for me in. Um, in the 80s, yeah. 90s. Tango and Cash. When he wears the outfit. When he's like dressed up like a lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And listen. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean. I, the, no, I, <laughs> ahead of its time. You know what? I when mean, the cops yes. say something to yeah. him. And he's just like. He's like, whatever. Like, I'm a bad bitch. Yeah. Ahead of its time. It was. It was. I didn't think it was that, that specific scene from Tango and Cash. I was like, no, no, Tango and Cash, you could get it. And definitely Sylvester Stallone also looked pretty good in that movie as well. Yeah, because he's like he was really good looking in a suit. It was. It, he was one of the few yes, muscle bound glasses. I was like, okay, yeah, you could, I could get it. But yeah, yeah no, no, no. And now I totally forgot about the scene of him dressed as a woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Okay. Yeah, and it, they didn't, and like this was before. This is what I. I you ha sometimes you have to go back to old movies mm -hmm. and you end up finding out that like there was still a lot of like you know anti-gay transphobia yeah. obviously oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, time yeah. but then yeah. you will also find movies that are surprisingly ahead of their time even yes, like that because there's like a whole part in what is that movie um she's just one of the guys just one of the guys have you ever seen that there's a girl her name's terry all right quick breakdown terry is yeah. a girl and she writes it for the newspaper articles and her goal and dream in life is to write for the newspaper and she's got a boyfriend who's like older ish because they always do he drives okay. convertible because of course he does and he as one she, does <laughs> that's how 80s movies always 80s movies yeah, yeah. always started like this Girl is getting ready with music. She's always half naked. She put she, she's like doing the thing in the mirror where she's like papa papa. You know that thing where she's always like popping her head a little bit. Yeah. And then she gets her clothes on. She has on her ruffled socks with her heels because she is stylish. She grabs all her stuff, runs out of the house, leaps into the car of the guy with the convertible who's got the hair, the collar, and the shirt every yeah. time. Convertible red. That's the beginning of every like eighties movie. No, and the right. music's playing, and either. It's about her or the sad sack on the side who's watching. <laughs> yep. I just thought about like one crazy summer. That was pretty much the fucking premise oh, of, yeah. <laughs> of the guy, Teddy, <laughs> one who crazy had a ride summer. for that, I believe. <laughs> that was a wild time. That was a weird movie. I fucking love that movie. That movie was that super movie. weird. It's still a good time. It's like cat's so eye good. that doesn't yes. ever like you're every time you watch it, you're like, so what was the point of this movie? Yeah. That <laughs> one, I, I still like, don't know. 
am I on drugs? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. But yeah, she's like, the whole point is that she pretends to be a guy because she yeah. thinks that her newspaper article was denied because she was a girl and she didn't get into the finalist because she was a girl. It turns out now she's just a bad writer, but <laughs> she gets better. She, has, she does get better. Like that's the point. But there's a point where she's like saying something to the guy that she's like befriending and making popular because of course she is. Yeah. And he's like, I know you're gay. It's no problem. In the eighties, he says this in the eighties. Wow. And I was like, look at this. All right. Okay. Okay. It was a long okay. circle. I take long yeah. <laughs> drives to get places. But listen, <laughs> I was there. I understood it. I loved it. And I'm like, yeah, no, you're right. Because it's true. There are, are quite a few movies that are old that old that are older that were definitely ahead of the time. And then the ones unfortunately that I can recall are the ones that kind of happened in the early two thousands that you're God. like, if that got made today. Oh, yeah, oh, it's so bad, so bad. Like so, all of like, the European vacation, like all of that. Just me and Alex watch. I want to say we watched it last year or whatever. And I was like, because I remember seeing it in the movie theater, and I was a kid, right, or like teenager. So I was just like, I don't even think I really particularly liked it, but yeah. I just remember being like, yo, it's not bad, you know, like whatever. But watching it now, I was like, oh, this is a fucking choice. Yeah, this is a choice. That's how this I felt about. Can't hardly rate. Like there's portions of it where you're like I know. and I, I love <coughs> Ethan Embry I love him I so love much him. my poor but like and that yeah, other no. little guy with I'm the sure. dark hair Charlie Korsky Charlie <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> me. Charlie Kors I feel like his last name starts with a K it's like Korsky or something hold on Charlie wait. I'm gonna look this up hold on hold please because he did the whole take me down to the paradise yes thing. who the fuck was he hold on can't I think you're right. He's a goofy dude. And I was into yeah. it. Because, of course, I would, like, I never... Listen, I'm only going to like the villain in the movie. Like, yeah. everybody likes Tombstone. Everybody in my... Their mom was like, oh, my God. Val Kilmer was so hot. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. But did y'all see Johnny Ringo? <laughs> Johnny Ringo was doing it for fuck, me. Especially fuck. when Val Kilmer explains him. And says, like, some men, you know, like, the whole thing. Like, he's a demon. I am into it. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You're right. It was Corsimo. Charlie, Charlie Corsimo. Corsimo. Okay. Okay. You... That's, Listen, that's, fucking, that's a good memory, man. That's a good memory. I was, Holy I shit. was, I was like, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, Blossom I, and Joey was a whole thing. I always liked, obviously, just like the nerd in every movie. Yeah. It's always the nerd. The nerd was just... always like the good, except yeah. for Revenge of the Nerds, which now you watch and you're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah. Oof. The only thing I really love about like watching Revenge of the Nerds is when, like, at the beginning, and Bro does that whole thing where he's like, come on, Betty, show me your stuff. You know, they're dancing yeah. and yeah. her stuff. That she has to show is shoulder bumps. <laughs> to this day, I'm like, that's the stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. I was like, come on, Betty, show me your stuff. Oh and she's God. like, shoulder bump, shoulder <laughs> bump. And I was like, okay. <laughs> the 80s oh were a bad God. time for dancing, I guess. <laughs> oh, fucking beyond. Oh, my but God. But just one of the girl, or like, girls just want to have fun. Yeah. Love it. Yes. I yes, would die yes, for yes. that movie. Not actually die. Just kidding. No. I will live for that one. Like, and it's a great time. But like one of my all time favorites because like they had like a dance show. Mm -hmm. And Teresa, your highlighter is beautiful, says Crystal Lynn. <laughs> Thank you. Like, on the other screen, like literally like IMD being things. I was just like, nope. Okay. Yep. I remember this one. Yep. yep, yep yeah. Because yep, 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 yep. it then, had yeah. um a young Shannon Doherty in there who I later, I didn't realize that that was her at the time. Because I had the biggest crush on Shannon Doherty when I was watching Beverly Hills 90210. Oh, yeah. I was like, okay. oh my God. I hated Kelly from, are you a Brenda or Kelly stan? Which one? Okay, so here's the thing. And this is, I feel like it's just going to sound really just like very weird. But like, I never really got into Beverly Hills 90210. Okay, okay. I just didn't. But anytime I happen to be, I don't know, like it happened to be on, there's one episode 
this is, this is where it's going to take like a dark turn. I oh, think. Oh, I know like, what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like SA or whatever that happens on the show or something. Someone mm-hmm. gets essayed, and I don't want to say it, obviously, but everyone knows what essay is, but whatever. And I, I would be like, what the fuck is this? And I would just like turn it off. And I feel like that was my only kind of introduction to that show. And I was like, I'm good. That show was wild. And I'm pretty sure that must be like a super later, later, later episode or yeah. whatever. But that was one. I don't know why <laughs> it was always fucking on. And I was like, this is making me uncomfortable. I don't like it. <laughs> so See, I never that's... got into it. That was how I felt about a Clockwork Orange. I've never seen the whole thing. I can't. Like, I yeah. I always Any, anything get with the same that spot. stuff in it. I I'm like nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm at five. five. I also don't do um, home invasion horror. I don't like those. Hi. Yeah. Immediately <laughs> nope. turn it off. Like people are like, "Have you seen The Strangers?" I'm like, "No." As soon as I started to Listen. realize what it was, I was out. I, I mean, I, I will say I'm someone like you. I do not like home invasion movies. But the whole time I was like, oh, these fucking people deserve it. <laughs> like, I was just like, I fucking, I cannot stand them. If I was there, I would literally try to kill them too. Because here's the thing. I made the mistake of watching funny games and I will never make them like ever again. That was just horrific. Okay. First of all, I'm so mad about that. The whole rewind scene. I don't even want to, I just yeah. get so mad about that. Yeah. I wasted my time with that movie. Yeah, no. I, I was mad like, y'all upset yeah. my sensibilities and my heart like <laughs> i thought they were like yay we saved it but i yeah. don't watch home invasion films because okay first of all it's if someone fear. knocks on my door at like mm-hmm. two in the morning oh i am i'm not gonna answer i'm not hmm. and also we're black people when when we hear a weird noise we're both me and my mom are both gonna go like this Black people freeze. Like when we hear a noise, we all just freeze. We're like, yeah. (laughs) No. And we just wait. Yeah. And see, like, did you hear what's gonna happen? And then we're all like, get to the back. (laughs) Like we don't (laughs) we don't stay. Like we're not gonna like go in this room, go over here. Yeah. Like I'm not. No, No, I don't even say that. Yeah. Don't watch super don't watch funny mm-hmm. games, super kidding. It's like it's horrific. No, it's it, really hard. So horrible. like there's just too many things that like always irritate me with a lot of home invasion horror. Like not only is it a fear of mine, but also the people in the movies like always act dumb. Oh, you it's know? always some it's always a dumb white person that's always like, I'm gonna answer the door and like, yes, I'll invite you into my home. Yeah. You do that. Or it's like, yeah, no, no, I totally get that. It's and like their terrifying. cell phones don't work and I'm I'm Convenient. like listen, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but like, no. there's towers almost everywhere. The, like, even you, like those national parks where people keep getting yeah. lost, they've added more towers so they can find your lost ass out there. Right. So, like, I just can't imagine a scenario. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> like, and now I can't watch any of the Purge movies because we're there yeah <laughs> yeah it's too real at it this really point. is like i have to go back and yeah. watch like you know texas chainsaw did you see the new texas chainsaw the new one on netflix no i did not see the new one on netflix is it i can't okay I guess I'm it's like be mid that okay no, it's not it's not good yeah because there's like a whole portion where like leatherface is like on a bus full of people, like full of influencers, and they're just like, "You're going to jail, man!" and filming the whole time. I hate it, and I'm, I'm I hate cringing. That. I'm cringing. Yeah. I just died of secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> like I'm <Yeah>. all sad. <laughs> 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 no, I'm good. I I feel like a lot. Honestly, I feel like a lot of horror movies lately have just been not cutting it for me but i did yeah. finally see talk to me Ooh, i need to watch that okay so i watched it it was me alex michael we watched it on new year's eve and it was it's really good but like expect to be like kind of like oh like it kind of gut punches you mm-hmm. and you're just kind of like in a, a funk a little bit um, but yeah. after a couple of bottles of champagne, you know, I got out of my funk. <laughs> it was a great time, but it was, it's re- honestly really, really good movie. And it was well done. And I highly recommend it for anyone that has not seen it. Definitely. Please go see it. It's so good. 
the acting Cal, is it's too great. late. I already watched Smile. <laughs> Cal's like, okay, but no, I watched Smile. I hated it. I didn't. I I have not seen Smile because I knew I wasn't gonna like it. Yeah, it's not good, yeah. and it's not good for not for the reasons that you think it's not good. The reason that it's not good is because they literally have a chance to fix it, and they just like don't. Um, and it's too long. It's mm. like a CW show. That's I'm taking this from Friendly Space Ninja, but it's like a CW show where they insist that it has to have 22, se- like 22 episodes per season. Okay. And I feel like they made this too long for no reason. Uh, like there's like stuff that they could have just like. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it's yeah. very long. And okay. you're just sitting there like, mm, this is going on for too long and I'm not getting information. Like I feel like I'm just waiting. Yeah. So like I didn't like that. Okay. I got it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay. I need to, I don't know. I feel like when movies come out, it takes me a while to watch them. I, actually. Okay. Have you seen the Barbie movie? No. Okay. So I did watch I, John Wick four. <laughs> we'll talk about that one in a second. Cause I have thoughts okay. about that one, Ooh, but yay. Barbie movie. I, I grew up. I love Barbies play with Barbies and everything. I really wanted to see the Barbie movie when it came out. Didn't have a chance to for X, Y, Z doesn't whatever. Like, just never had the time. Finally got to a point where I could watch it. I heard nothing but amazing things from people that it's like, oh my God, it's just like so life changing. And it's like going to reaffirm everything about you being a girl that played with Barbies and da, 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 and like women empowerment, all this shit. And I watched it and I was like, I hate this. And I feel like I'm like one of the only ones because a lot of people are like, oh my God, no, it's so good. And like, I feel so good about it. It just, it sucked. And I was like, this is so horrible, this fucking movie. And it made me so mad. I don't think people understand how I played with Barbies. And that's Mm. why I didn't go watch it because I didn't play with Barbies like that. Okay. My Barbies were like my Barbies had water beds made out of Ziploc bags. Okay. I was more interested in creating all, their homes. I mean, that sounds innovative, if anything. I like, was a very creative. You child. were an engineer. <laughs> I literally <laughs> made my own Barbie dream houses out of like a cardboard box. And then I would like put walls in and a bedroom. They were busy having like affairs. Okay. That's like, why I mean was... you get along because that's what my Barbies Yeah, my Melrose Barbies weren't being placed. pretty going to jobs. Like, yeah. <laughs> They were getting bad haircuts and oh, having yeah. bad romances. Oh, like. Yeah. I had one Ken doll and 50 Barbies. They all fucked him. Yeah. Okay. And they were all mad at each and other. And <laughs> if I wanted an additional, because I had a black Ken, I had a white Ken, I needed another man. Yeah. This is obviously going to out like how queer I truly am. I just shaved off another of my Barbie's hairs, Aww. like just, broop, and I she just that. was another one that everybody could date. Listen, like that, that is where we were. So I was I like, this it. is what we're going to do. I need yes. enough. In my everything. mind, the Barbie doll looks like Lori Petty from like Tank yes. Girl. That's, yes. what, that's what I picture. I'm like, yeah, nice. Okay. I get like, it. I it love just, it. You know, I, I wasn't, I, it's the same way I felt about like the, my, my Barbie I scissors. I love so funny. the 2016 Suicide Squad movie. A lot of people don't like it. I like it because I can kind of see through yeah. And here's the other thing. Like, I mm-hmm. it needed an hour. It needed an extra hour. It's missing an hour. <laughs> you, you, really? <laughs> yeah, it's missing an hour. Okay. And this is the one, the Will Smith one you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. It's missing. Oh, no, okay. Because like some people <laughs> like to talk shit about the intros. I enjoyed the intros. Yeah. Okay. I thought that okay. was fun. Okay. Obviously, we don't really know why that evil queen is there. <laughs> like, was, nobody knows uh-huh. why yeah. she's trying to take over the world. That's a bit of a problem. It, it was a lot of questions that needed to be answered, and uh, it never got answered. <laughs> yeah, they never said. And that's really the issue. Like, all okay. we need is his, like, his cut. Because okay. I, okay. and I know okay. a lot of people didn't like Jared Leto as the Joker. Joker. And yeah. I did because I feel okay. like he was a product of the time. If you go back and look at every okay. single Joker, they're products of their times. And I feel like a lot of his mm-hmm. shit was cut as well. Yeah. I know people were on there like, oh, Harley Quinn was dressed too sexy. But I feel like you didn't watch the cartoon or read the comics because Harley Quinn's just been a sexy bench. Yeah. Day like, none. Like, she's literally she's- like in tight little outfits running around with a giant hammer. Yeah. Like- yeah. Yeah. And then so I I hated Birds of Prey. Everybody else. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. I I liked it and you were like, no. (laughs) 
because I just, I couldn't handle yeah. it. Like every yeah. time I turned around, hi, do you want to know how I got here? I'm like, yeah. Uh, First of all, that was like dead on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I couldn't. I just, I felt like every time I yeah. turned around, she was narrating the movie. I was like, bitch, I, I don't it even have to watch yeah. this. Okay, I can enough. literally listen to it. Yeah, but like I, you have to go back and rewatch the 2016 a couple of times, and then you'll start seeing the holes because they, yeah. they they feel like they left all the intros in for all the characters, mm -hmm. and then after mm -hmm. that, it was just like we gotta I cut will, the movie down. I'm gonna watch it for you because I I did watch it once, and I was like, oh fuck, and I I did not like it, and I and I love a lot of shitty action movies, and I was Same. like, this is, it was boring for me. I like the newer one. I do I, like that one. I could watch that every day for the rest of my life. And I really love the Peacemaker show that came after it. I didn't Peace watch it. Peacemaker, I give it a try. I think you'll like it. Oh, it I was, like John Cena. I just haven't watched it yet because uh, it's work. Oh, <laughs> yeah. When you have a minute, you'll fly through it because it's a pretty fast watch. But, like, I like that whole that whole uh, world of, like, Suicide Squad or whatever. But I will try. I'll try again. Because when I watched Suicide Squad, it was also actually, oddly enough, New Year's Eve 2 many, many years ago. So maybe, I don't know. I just wasn't paying attention to it. But I'll, I'll try it again. I swear it's again. just because, like... There is an hour missing out of that movie. Okay. There, like <laughs> I've, I've said it, but like every time I watch it, cause like, listen, recently I've watched it probably 12 to 15 times. Yeah. Cause it was on Netflix and I was just like, what is it? Cause like I enjoyed it, but I'm watching it. And I'm just like, okay, so it's missing here. There's some, because there's like the beginning part where Jared Leto is talking to common and mm. like offering up Harley Quinn. There is something missing in that scene because when he suddenly shoots him, I'm just like, there's literally something missing in between this. Okay. Like it doesn't, cause like Joker doesn't just do stuff. Yeah. Like there's always like a wacky, weird reason behind everything he does. So he wouldn't have just like hauled off and shot common for like deny, like declining Harley Quinn. I'm like, there's something missing there. Like okay. they cut stuff there. And so yeah. it looks odd because he's like, oh, you don't want any beef. And then he shoots him. And he's like, no, Joker, that's your girl. Shoots him. Doesn't even make sense. There's stuff missing there. Then there's also a lot of stuff missing with that evil queen. I still don't really understand that whole that whole that fucking storyline. It will never like, make why? sense. Why? Like, okay. It actually won't won't. It's Zack Snyder who did it, right? No, I we'll feel like it. this was Iyer, David Iyer. Uh, Is that a summer. name? Did I just make that up? Maybe, 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 maybe not. Let's see. We'll release the Iyer cut? No, you're right. David Iyer. <gasps> Fuck you're yeah. Good. You I are didn't good. make it up. That was real. My sanity is so, intact. What <laughs> else did he do? Hold on. What else did he do? He did. <laughs> like my harsh... sanity is intact. What the fuck did he do? I want to see as a director. What did he do? Yeah, there's like literally an hour of missing out of that movie, which irritates me because mm -hmm. I will watch a four hour long YouTube video. The yeah. studios have got to understand we will watch a long movie if it all makes sense and it's good. We're Absolutely. not going to watch it if it's just like absolute hot garbage. Like, oh, yeah, no. made it long to make it long. Oh no, I agree. I agree. But that one I'll 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 try it again. But like after the second right, one that I came out, I was just like, I could fuck with the second one more. Um, but oh wait. John Wick. Okay. John Wick. I love John Wick. I love the whole series, the franchise, everything. Um, I am a John Wick person. I'm a Keanu Reeves person. Period. The fourth one. I was disappointed. I was kind of bored. Yes. Okay, good, good. good. <laughs> also, the fucking MMA fighter fat guy. Like, I was like, you could have just fucking just done without this whole fucking scene. And like, it was just embarrassing for everybody. Like, I, I hate this... when skinny people play fat people. It's like, give me fat or nothing. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're I killing just, me. Like... Didn't I don't know I like I like how it ended right not to spoil yeah. it for y'all yeah 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 it but was like, it was satisfying I was like okay mm. but I just I was so bored it was like because hours. it was just like yeah it felt like it felt like it was, was it three hours long and I just felt like it yes. kept going yes. and I was just like are we not finished yet I know. and it just 
I like I like OG John Wick. I like mm-hmm. John Wick 2. By John Wick 3, I'm getting a little like, this is going to belong on the tooth, babes. And I'm watching yeah. John, John Wick 4, and I'm like, <sighs> did you see the Continental show? I didn't, because I have sense. Okay, well, listen. I do too, bitch. Okay. <laughs> But I watched it, okay, because I was like, all right, I like the John Wick universe. Okay, I'm going to watch it. Plus, I yeah. really wanted to know about the backstory of, um, what the fuck was his name? I can't think of his name. Winston, right? And I was like, well, I was I'm like- curious. I was like, that guy. Um, I wanted to see what it was. And it it is a train wreck because it introduces a lot of characters and they don't really explain what they're doing there or how they know each other or what's going on, but it's kind of fascinating. And it's worth like, if you just want to watch something shitty yeah. and kind of like I'm invested now, I say, watch it. it it's going to kill brain cells, but it's kind of fun in a weird way. But then Constantine two is finally coming out. Okay. So f- let me tell you, you fucking said that to me. And then when I went to go look for a trailer, I found a fan trailer and I couldn't find anything else. And yeah. I was like, where is it? So it actually did. It's in production. Yeah. I swear oh. that I saw like mm. Keanu Reeves, like it's been 15 years. Blah, 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 blah. Hold blah, on. Blah. Because oh, I God. loved OG Constantine. Cause like Gavin Rossdale was in it. Yeah. Oh, Gavin Ross. Tilda Swinton. Mm hmm. Oh, Tilda Swinton. I love Tilda Swinton. Like all the hotties. And that, yeah. remember, I told I sent you a Marco Polo, but like that guy who plays a Russian and like everything that he's in. <laughs> oh, uh, Peter Stormare. Yeah. Basically. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is there not really a Constantine, too? And I just Hold thought on. that there was one. So I know that he wanted to do it, but upcoming. Yep. Nope. You're right. It's in production now. Okay. So because I remember him. Uh, in interviews because people were like oh we really love Constantine we would love to see it again and he said that's the one thing that he would want to bring back if he could yeah and there's going to be a ballerina movie that's like I guess in the John Wick universe that's coming out 2024 interesting Mm. you know what I actually want to know about are like the the higher ups of the John Wick universe like not the continent the people who John Wick was fighting, who make him like cut off his fingers. And oh shit. yeah, yeah, like, the high table. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to know about the high table. So okay, so that was the thing about I guess like the Continental. I think it's like a window into the high table. We don't get there though. We only kind of um, get to the point where he just becomes, I guess, potentially the manager, which he kind of strong arms to get to be the manager of that hotel but like there's no like nothing about really the high table like there's mentions glimpses of it but like you don't know who the fuck they are so you still don't know what they are or who they are yeah because that's what i'm more interested in like who's i thought it was big like i would even like if you made one like you could have another john wickish type movie like in the john wick universe i want to know about the black guy with the dog Okay. Yeah. Let's let's yes. revolve around yes. him. Yes, 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 yes. And like, how do you get into King of the Bowery? Yeah, 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 yeah. Being yeah. a part of well, this network. How does this even happen? Well, that was my problem with number four. Is that the the black guy? The um. Oh God. Uh, I don't remember his name, but he was like following Keanu all yes. around. I was like, yo, what's your backstory? Because your backstory sounds kind of interesting. He just seemed like a bounty hunter. Yeah. But like, they didn't talk about him. He was like, okay, bye. I'm like, that's rude. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he like, seems he's not part of the crew, but he's like a bounty hunter. And then yeah. they hire him. And then you're like, okay. Fuck? No, no, no. Yeah. For me, it's like one and two. And then three is like, mm, okay, okay. But one and two is the best, I think, with you. Fast so. and Furious 10. Okay, first of all, I love Fast and Furious. I love this I do too. Movie. Listen, I love that. This is one of the things we bonded on. No. However, yes. So wait, which is 10 was the last one that came out with um Aquaman, Sorry, right? Fast X, I apologize. Fast X is Aquaman. I don't want Vin Diesel coming around like doing weird ass live streams talking shit about me and being like, Ugh. <laughs> Okay. So here's how I feel. I okay. The one before Fast X, which one nine. was that one? I hated nine. Nine sucked. I fucking hated it. I didn't understand it. I didn't like it. It did not feel like a Fast and the Furious movie. It just was like family, and that was it. And I was like, fuck family. I hate this. I liked Fast X because it was stupid. It was so bad 
that it, it made me giggle. And I was literally like kicking my little feeties in the air, <laughs> watching the movie, like eating popcorn, laughing. Cause I was like, this, this, someone created a script. Someone got Aquaman. I don't even know what this fucking name is. Was it Jason Momoa, Jason right? Momoa. Yeah. I almost got him. Jason Samoa, which is just <laughs> a, a delicious cookie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jason Momoa was just with his little man bun and his little painted nails and he was like overacting but in like the most funniest way I was like what am I watching but why do I yeah, cannot it was watch weird. It. it was I was it like was are weird. you like my thing was I'm like are you psychotic or are you just like like I couldn't figure out what the are you a funny. genius or are you psych and then I love somebody it. what's going on with Charlize because I feel like she's just like money sounds good <laughs> yeah I think you meant like her face I mean her face no. looked a little I was like you know whose no, face is getting a little who? Nicole Kidman she is not real okay she's I think becoming an real. AI version of herself she AMC owns the AI version of her. That's why they get all those creepy fucking commercials. <laughs> Just like, it is. like this is the best place in the movie theater. I laugh and cry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god, Nicole Kidman's dead. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Tom Cruise killed her allegedly. Um, <laughs> allegedly. 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 Has anybody seen Katie Holmes lately? Anyways, just gonna. Allegedly. I think Allegedly. Scientology. Actually, I would, shouldn't even say Scientology. Yeah, don't, don't even say the word. Don't, don't be say snapped the word. out of my house. Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> We're just kidding. We didn't say that. We said Allegedly. phrenology. I don't even know what that is. I just made a, I just said a word um, to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, yeah. god courtney, courtney cox, cox. Yeah, really, oh. <laughs> yeah courtney cox did you see her in the screen where she's dead mm -hmm. did she die no she didn't die the she last did. one yeah she didn't die she did. no the, the last one i actually liked compared to the one before it the one before it i i did not so like much. that one i hated that i one like the that. last one the last and one then, was fine yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. courtney cox like has been doing some Thanks to a face. Yeah, I feel and bad. I heard great. Jennifer Aniston apparently was also doing shit to her face too. Listen, I need these ladies to just. I know. Okay, I know. everybody can do whatever they want to themselves, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I'm just gonna say out loud with my mouth that yeah. I don't think facial surgery is where it needs to be. Yeah, no. And that's why you come out looking like Uncanny Valley. And it's creepy. <laughs> Do you titties all you want? Seems like they've mm -hmm. gotten... Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously not a bad doctor, but like... Yeah. yeah. Uh, they seem to have a good grip on titties. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Do their titties well. I'll take a calf implant, a butt yeah. implant. I'm cool with that. But yeah. when you touch your face, it's like... Mm -mm. I just... I feel like they mm -hmm. don't know how to like... No. make your face a face and it just sucks because you know i feel like traditionally oh, Jesus, i'm sorry maria i shouldn't have said phrenology my apologies everybody damn it i said oh, oh, the wrong oh. thing oh 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 no okay no new word <laughs> oh, new word new word <laughs> psychology <laughs> there you go um <laughs> Now, I feel like traditionally, like men, when they get older, right, they just, they age like fine wine and like, they just look good. And women, I feel like also look good, but like, we've been told that, no, 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 you have to look younger. You have to constantly just keep up with 20 year olds and shit like that. And then it gets a little bit too out of hand where they start looking like a fucking handbag. Yeah, they're all like, like this. They're like, oh, I know. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm like, are you upset? And they're like, yes. <laughs> they're very like, no. Like, I'm really you? devastated right You're now. You're nominated for an award. I am. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just can't even believe that they thought of me for this award. Oh, my God. And you're I just know. like, oh, my God. Are you okay? Like, yeah. Michelle mm -hmm. Pfeiffer. I haven't seen her in a while. Because Not that we're friends. <laughs> when you're good people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you mind your business and you're not fucking hateful. Yeah, you look like a goddamn goddess, and that is Michelle Pfeiffer. Thank you. <laughs> I, respect that. I respect that. 
I respect that. Mm-hmm. Looks amazing because mm-hmm. she oh, just yeah. minds. She sits in the corner. She eats her food. She doesn't bother nobody. She doesn't say wild shit. She wasn't sitting there singing Imagine like a psycho. She's like literally just <laughs> living her life over here. She yeah. makes movies every once in a while. She shows up every so often. They're like, I'm Michelle Pfeiffer. I'm still fucking gorgeous. And then like, it. that's that's it. Yeah. Like that's oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, what is, so, someone said Goldie Hawn. I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, I think she might look weird. Let's see, let's see. Let's I see. feel like there's a period where she was just chilling, but yeah. then she started doing weird things. Okay, I and mean. And Meg Ryan has been on a weird thing track. Um, Have you seen Helen Hunt? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, she was oh. in a movie. Yeah. I think that there was an accident that happened and now she looks like that from whatever reconstruction was done. However, okay. Maybe they should have let us know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was yeah, very yeah. distracting watching it in, in a movie. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? I had to go look it up because I was like, I'm panicking. Like it was yeah. giving me genuine panic because I was like, I don't, what have I, what's happened? Let I think see. she was in an accident. Okay. 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 Was. Then if that's the case, not like a Zac Efron accident, but like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Where is? Hold on. I'm gonna find Goldie. Michelle Trachtenberg. Did she do something to her face? Did she? she? Don't. Oh, Natalie. Her and Stardust is gorgeous. Did you hold on? I want... Yeah, I know. Now we're all like looking these people up. Like, who looks weird? <laughs> yeah, I know. Who looks weird? I'm there? trying to find. Let me see. Can I just do? Let me do a screen share really fast. Yeah, darkies makeup and science and facial plastic surgery can be done well. It's just that a lot of these people go overboard, and there's definitely problems with implants and breasts, and especially. Okay. Oh my! Oh wow! Okay. I mean, she's 78. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she's 78. She's doing that- you know what? Here's what I'm going to give her. She's 78. I'm happy that she did implants for her cheeks to look fuller instead of yeah. that other thing. What's that other yeah. thing? The buckle fat removal, which is just oh yeah, terrifying. Oh, they, look, they look cute. They're so happy. I know. I love that. I love that they never got married and they're like, fuck everything. I know. To this yeah. day, I will always say that Brangelina fell apart because they got married, but also because Brad Pitt is an evil monster say, that should be stopped. I was going to say, I think he's an awful human being. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to be stopped. He, yeah. He is a horrible, yeah. evil, evil man. Yeah. And I wish nothing but the worst for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen like to If that. he woke up tomorrow and was like, I have hemorrhoids, and I would be like, good. You deserve them. <laughs> like everything that happened to him, like you deserve that. You know? Now. Oh, yeah. I know she, there was like a lot of, um, okay. I didn't want to do all of that. Okay. Oh, yeah. All the talk about Pam. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah she's yeah. like not wearing makeup. And they're like, oh my God, so brave. And I'm like, can we just stop calling women brave when they just don't want to wear makeup? Like, well, it, yeah. No. First of all, she's still like still hot. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. It's very annoying, actually, because I was expecting her to like not be wearing makeup and look like, you know, but the thing was, people forget that even when she wasn't wearing yeah. makeup when she was younger, she looked amazing. Oh, yeah. She no, just she's always had like beautiful. gorgeous skin. Yeah. No, she's beautiful. It's kind of like when, um, like, I, <laughs> I'll get, I don't get this comment very often. Uh, I think because like people just know better or whatever, but like, you know, like, oh my God, you're so brave for like putting yourself out there on the internet because you're like fat. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, what? what? You? Well, you know how it's just like always, it's like, oh my God, you know, you're so brave because like you're plus size and you're like doing this. And it's such a like, fuck you like i'm just like anybody else like okay yeah i'm just fat who gives a fuck though like, like there's literally more to just than... alive yeah it's just like <laughs> exactly like shut the fuck up and it, it's just so funny to hear you're brave it's like it's just such a shitty like backhanded fucking thing fuck off yeah like when they do that when they go <laughs> oh my god i wish i had the the balls to wear that bikini it's like yeah you do you can like why are you because you don't say, and here's the problem with it. It's because they don't say that to somebody who's not fat. They don't say that yeah. to somebody no. who's not traditional. Nope. They're like, oh my God, you're so brave. You're like, bitch, yeah. who's that? Renee Zellweger. Oh my um, she, God. She she's is fucking unrecognizable. She still has a little bit of a, she, I mean, she always had the, the lemon, like kind of like a, 
I don't know. Like her eyes are always like ooh, lemony, but yeah, she always looked like she smelled poop. Always. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's always been her face. Like everybody's yeah. Her, she's always had the mm, smells. Yeah, like just poop. it's always like mm hmm. It's like it's cutesy, not really. She is. She freaks me out because like she is a completely different person. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, this this photo's not bad. This photo's not bad. The first photo I had was not great, and I don't know. I feel like that's a roll, and we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel like that was just a really bad angle of her just being upset at somebody because they didn't have like a one steak sauce or whatever. Well, so it's like it's like she was in a movie, like in a show. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. A like, prosthetic stuff behind, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no, God. yeah, no. This one looks. I, the other ones look better. That was just a really, yeah. I but mean, it's like half the time, I don't know that that's her because she. If I saw this bitch on the street, I'd be like, "Who the fuck are you? Like, Thank can you, you get out of the way? I need to go get like my Totino's pizza rolls. Like, you're in the way." <laughs> there was a conspiracy theory that Renee Zellweger was secretly replaced by a look like after she was married to Kenny Chesney. I feel like I heard that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Insanity. Oh my Who else God. can we look up? Yeah, let us look up more people. Wait, let me yeah. get another little drink. Drink it truly. I'll chug it in 15 minutes. I was about to say, yeah, you gotta, you gotta chug it. We gotta get out of here. I know. Chug it. I know. No, if next time I will be in a new home, we could do this longer. I uh, also took a full. Oh, what did Emily? What? What did she do? Because I know Gwyneth Paltrow did the fat suit, like shallow Hal, which. That was okay, but side way. note. Yeah. Have you seen the icon that is, I think it's Alex Kansani. Who the fuck is Alex Kansani? <sighs> Lifestyle. <laughs> in, in, in. With the drink. <laughs> have you not seen that? Okay. I no. guess, again, I'm on black talk. <laughs> My TikTok is literally astrology for Libra. Uh, I watch this one lady. Oh, fuck. Uh, she cleans and she like always organizes her house. And she has a very soothing voice. Is her name like Nikki or something like that? She's like, hello, today we're going to be like organizing my life. And like she like her and her husband are like doing the bed. And like this bitch, she fucking like moves the refrigerator off the wall and just starts like vacuuming everything. Like she like takes her house apart. And I'm sitting there like, this is so fascinating. Like, I want to be this good at cleaning my house like that. But holy shit. I'm on that part of TikTok. Meanwhile, no makeup. I'm like literally watching like Alex and Sonny like do the be goofy and funny. I and then that. everybody imitate her, do her thing. <laughs> Did you know you can? Who are we looking up? Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, you, you, can, you can. You get can surgery get surgery to make, make yourself it's taller? It's extremely painful. Shh. Shut the fuck. What do you mean? It's what do you painful. mean? The, it's it's very painful. Oh my God. What the fuck? Wait, Robin Wright? Hold on. Let me look at Robin Wright. All oh I know God. Robin Wright from is like. Mm. Uh, I feel like she still looks good. Meg Ryan looks like. Yeah. Wild. No, she looks, she looks pretty good. Yeah, she looks good. She, she looks, looks like good. she just like. Did some yeah. very light nip. See, she she Little did nip, the nippies and the tuckies, and she was like, mm. "I can fuck with." Oh, Mickey Rourke is that's a Mickey Rourke used to be hot. He, Mickey Rourke used to be hot. Very upsetting how oh, no, stupidly no. attractive he. Was, oh but, yeah, like, oh you were like, yeah. oh. you're like, hey, you can get it, Mickey Rourke, and now you're like, no, what happened, like, buddy? He, what oh, happened? Geez, Louise. And it was because he was like wanted to be a fucking boxer. And yeah, and then he know. tried to fix what had happened with yeah. him boxing. And then he just started looking a bit wild. I know. It's like he just looks like an out of work uh, fucking Elvis impersonator. Like, like, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Buddy. Yeah. No. I'm just sad. Like, I'm yeah, sad. my mom yeah, has been yeah. watching the Great British Bake Off and the, you know, the the British man. Well, I mean, yeah. it's the British Bake Off. I'm so sorry. The the white guy who has like silvery hair. He's mm -hmm. so tan, <laughs> and that his eyes are like, <laughs> yeah, Meg Ryan. I just like Calista Flockhart. Yeah, what happened? I. Okay. 
so basically her sh- her shitty husband Dennis Quaid who had regularly cheated on her yeah um and she just like let like just minded her business and had to take the heartbreak or whatever and then she got a little little with uh, mm. Russell Crowe you know and yeah. then every that blew up and the media was like, women suck. And because she was America's sweetheart. And they mm-hmm. et her up. Mm-hmm. They et her all the way up. Like she, oh my God, wasn't anything. What wow. is happening in that photo? I um, don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> like I understand I Michael J. Fox. But I don't you know, know what's going I, on with the other person. Like, <laughs> yeah. Is that supposed to be Meg Ryan right there? That's supposed to be Meg Ryan. That's impossible. That's Meg Ryan. That apparently. is impossible. That's, that's that Meg I Ryan. I don't believe you. That's stop Meg, it. That's <laughs> Meg Ryan. I stop don't, it. I don't know. You're making don't me know. angry. <laughs> stop it before I throw a fit. I don't know. I don't know. No. No. But yeah, she, like she's so she pretty. Just, she made she that was. terrible movie like in the cut or something. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah, like, yeah. look, my tits are out. And we were like, nobody cares now. We wanted to see them a long time ago. But anyways. Um, and so then she just got cast out while Dennis Quaid got to keep making shit because men yeah. in Hollywood. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Madonna got strange. We are aware. Yeah. And I feel she like she has an accent. Oh Jesus. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. I want you know. In that movie that I can't remember where there's like aliens. Yeah. 15, 15 with Mila Jovovich with the orange hair. Oh, um, uh, Fifth Element. Oh, <laughs> she looks like one of those aliens in there. Oh my gosh, she kind of does. You mean the yeah. one? <laughs> you mean the bad guys with like the chunky like they- <laughs> I think I died. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, <laughs> multi pass. The Lou Dallas multi pass. Listen, oh my god, I, I feel like I fucking can't. Like obviously, I would be so upset if people were doing this to me. I'm, but no, I, I know, I, and I feel <laughs> I feel bad, but I'm not going to stop doing it because, like, listen, here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. I feel like there is a level of because you know who looks good, ta, 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 ta. the Real Housewives. I'm trying to mm-hmm. remember her name. Nobody mm-hmm. likes her. Tamara Braun. Oh, she looks good. She, th- to me, she that is a age. lesson in how you have good work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. For sure. Because There's she is no... so fine. Like, yeah. And you know who might be making another um, Underworld movie? Kate back in sale. Really? Kate? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen her in a minute. What does she look like? I hope she looks normal. Please don't she ruin was, it. She was really pretty. Oh, yeah. She's good. still good. She's still good. All right. <sighs> okay. okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Ugh, we can rest you. easy. <laughs> thank you. She looks like, really good. Listen, Kate back in sale got divorced. Yeah. She just start oh my god jesus no. she looks good she looks really Wasn't good she, didn't she didn't she with p p did she really i thought she was with um that stupid fucking comedian the one that's apparently no, she, pretty he, uh, and i no. say apparently because he's fucking gross looking he looks like one of the characters from big mouth um <laughs> i sorry. really think that he she was stripping pete Pete Davidson at one point, because that's what you do when you get divorced and you're older, older lady. Just everybody older just lady, Pete Davidson. <laughs> you get divorced and you stop Pete Davidson. Oh shit! I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess so. Oh, oh my god! You so bad. The fuck up! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look oh at them god. kissing! Oh my god! No, so fucking random. I could not imagine kissing Pete Davidson because no. there's so much teeth. No, he has a weird, like, kind of butthole eyes. I don't love that. There's just a lot of tea. I just don't like it. Just, he always like, just looks like he hasn't slept in fucking seven years. So I'm like, he is ill. <laughs> not a fan of that. <laughs> He's actually <laughs> ill. Just not a fan of that. <laughs> because, like, listen, you have a starter, you have starter dick. Yeah. When you are an older lady and you get divorced, starter, there's starter dick. dick. And starter he's dick. he's good starter dick. It's it's okay. big and laughing. He has yeah. a good time with you. Yeah, he makes I mean, you feel good and pretty. Yeah. 
And then he, you know, and he probably doesn't slap you in the face with it either. You know what I mean? He's just like giving it to you. Good. He doesn't do like a mic tap. Yeah, he doesn't do the like bonk, bonk, bonk. He probably doesn't do the helicopter. You know what I mean? He doesn't do any of that. He's like oh an God. adult about his junk. Listen. Listen. And so you're like, okay. And then you move on to Matt Rife for reasons. He is. I don't. Okay, hold on. I need to see what like Matt. I hate how so many people are like, he's so hot. I'm like, oh. I hated it. Right. I know who started this because I promise you it wasn't black women. <laughs> it wasn't Latino <laughs> women. Oh my God. It okay. wasn't Asian women. Mm. None of us started that. Mm. None of us did that. <laughs> This is on y'all. <laughs> as the as one of the members of the White Women Association, <laughs> I do apologize for this. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, I, not for me. Not for me. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't find him. I mean, I don't even find him funny. Even his crowd work shit. I was like, he's funny. Yeah, he's not very yeah. funny. No, I don't find him. Very I don't funny. think a lot of comedians are funny these days, though. Mm-mm. Because like they're comedians who've been there a while, and they're just like mad that they can't like yell racial slurs. That's what they're mad. <laughs> That's what they're mad about. They're so mad. They're like, oh man, I really wish it was 2012. And it's like, yeah, sorry, they're always God. just like, you're gonna cancel me for this. And then they just like, and they're like, we can't say this anymore. And they just want to say transphobic things. And I'm just like, yeah. what is even happening here? Oh my god. Well, I need to go look. Well, at I'm that. putting that in the bank. Both of them. <laughs> I need to go look at Jeff Goldblum. He is a, <laughs> like a fucking psycho, but I love it. And yes, just absolutely yes. You can still get it. He's a daddy. He, I love listen, it. you know who got hot? Nick yeah. Hexum from 311. Nick Hexum became Zaddy. Right, Nick, I was I shocked. Um, Nick H E X U M. Why H- do I know this? Leave H- me alone. Nick he Hexum. got like a Zaddy on my ass. Like, he this is him. Not, this yeah, is him. He, he was no. not hot when he was young. Go look at him in 1999. Look at that. Okay. Well, listen, listen. I would 1999. I'm like, <laughs> like I think I you mean, picked the cute. wrong zaddy picture of him. By no. the way, you pick like a weird picture. Like, weird. But he got like hot. There he's, we go. He is good so, looking. He is very good looking. He, like, I would even take him in 1999. Nose. No, but like, oh yeah, I was know. into it. But yeah, but like, no, like now I'm like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen, this is coming from somebody who people used to, people used to call me Audra Hoppus in college because I loved Mark Hoppus from Blink-182 oh. so much. So they would call me Audra Hoppus. That's so funny. He, Mark Hoppus, he doesn't look, I, I saw he, one, mm, he didn't look that great. They all, like the only one who is still, I guess what you would say is attractive is would Travis be Travis, Parker. but I can't stand the way that his eyes are constantly piercing through your soul. Yeah. It's very upsetting. So I never really watched the Kardashian show, like, when it was on E! I never got into mm-hmm. it, but I started watching it when it was on Hulu for whatever reason. And I started watching, and I didn't finish whatever their latest season one, or maybe it was, like, season two, but I started following it because I was kind of curious, like, how the fuck did Travis Barker, like, come into play with these fucking people? And just i honestly wish i never watched the show because it was just like you're creepy Who's he's kind of creepy yeah. yeah he's a bit of a creep and we he's didn't need creepy. to know he was a creep no and i was totally fine with just being like oh my god like he's like this like really tortured soul and he got into like a plane accident and, like he's kind of like weirdly hot like no i was fine living in that world and not the like what the fuck is it like you're kind of stalking her and like it's so uncomfortable. here's the thing i, I love it. I got, like I used to think that Travis was hot back in the day. Yeah. Got off that train when he was on that reality show with him and his wife Shanna when he was married to Shanna. Oh Mugler. my god. And yes. I was like, you know what? Yes. I should not see the side of Travis and I was good after that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like I'm good. Cuz like oh yeah. Mark didn't age hotly. No. But I will say. No. He, he was like one of those the people that was like up. Yeah. He was he was one of those people where like youth was doing him well. Um, yeah, Tom waffles in attractiveness. It depends mm-hmm. on how excited he is about aliens. If he's overexcited about aliens, 
he's not as hot but when he mm-hmm. like relaxes on his alien shit like hot yeah agreed 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 he i felt like was like okay like there was he one- did survive cancer yes there was one thing that um wait who oh mark had cancer yes oh okay 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 <laughs> Oh, didn't even. But he that. wasn't aging well before that. To be fair, no, yeah, <laughs> like, I've never really seen him. Yeah, I think past like the two thousands, it was like. Yeah, he started like because I saw Blink One Eighty Two. I feel like maybe two or three times in concert. I couldn't afford it now. Back then, yeah. I saw them, and I was like in the sixth row, you know, mm-hmm. for twenty five bucks because like that's that was life. I saw like I went to a hockey game for like seventy six bucks. It was in the fourth row. Like this was good times not yeah. really but like financially yeah. anyway um their live shows were just like fucking electric like i saw them i've seen 311 a couple mm-hmm. of times mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. i remember that like that's how i found out about jimmy's chicken shack because they opened for 311 and um i don't think anyone knows that band other than <laughs> me and you I nobody knows God. jimmy's chicken shack no does any show a hands and don't fucking Google it? Yeah, don't Google. Who it. knows Jimmy's Chicken Shack? And if you know one of their fucking songs, I will give you nothing. I can't give you anything, but I will give you respect. Okay. R e s p e c t. Yeah, because like nobody knows like who Jimmy Chicken no. Shack. And so no. it's like I saw them. They opened up for Three Eleven. An entire God. like weed cloud yeah came over the crowd because like anytime he was like he would start it and he'd come up and be like who's got the herb oh like oh Nick, Nick Hexum was yeah. just, he was my everything because he was so tall and I just <laughs> loved that he was tall yeah like just and because he was kind of tall and awkward like his dance movements weren't really great yeah. he was like yeah. I'm really tall. And I was like, I got it. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living for oh it. <laughs> now I need to see, is Jimmy's Chicken Shack still together? I know. We need to find out. Oh, my God, please. We'll please. make bed up straight. <laughs> oh, we stay out that late. Was like, uh, oh, my the God. is way too loud. <laughs> my friends are all so proud. Oh, my God, stop <laughs> it. We can <could> literally... <laughs> fucking dead no. can i tell you i found them so in okay when my mom used to take me and my brother to disney world every year they used to have the um a big virgin mega store in uh, downtown disney mm-hmm. and that's how i discovered jimmy's chicken shack because we me and my brother would spend hours in fucking virgin mega store like going through all the cds and all that stuff when that was a thing and yeah. i was like jimmy's chicken shack what is it and i was like my mind's just blown and then i used to i bought that cd mm-hmm. and i used to play on my sega dreamcast sonic adventures and just play that whole cd i love i love them and then i don't think they ever did anything else they really them. did it they like drop that album they like yep. toured around for a little while and then they just like disappeared it's probably the white guy dreads that did it i was about to say he's fucking dreadlock it was a fucking choice man a choice. because like i like the harmonies on that song i was like what do i do what do i do what do i do oh my god like, i just loved it like it oh was god. it was a good time I love it. it's so good if and- angela says they're still together and they tour because I used to also be a fan of Long Beach Up Dub All Stars because like they were kind of the remaining members from Sublime. Yeah. So like that was a good time. I listen, I was like way too SoCal for a while, like super Southern California, <laughs> like oh. just into it because yeah. I lived out there and I was like, yeah, mm, so I saw Nelly for free. Shut up! I really? Did, yeah, USC would have these concerts. Oh, that's fucking nice. But to be fair, it took me a while to figure out which one was Nelly because they all were wearing the band-aid. So Do it you was imagine? Like, <laughs> I was like having some difficulty. I'm just, I'm just, like, like, Mama, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> which one is it? <laughs> like that's fucking funny. Oh my god, darky. Oh, Wait, let me rephrase that because some people watching and or listening might feel like that was rude. Darkie's makeup and science. Because I was like, Darkie. Um, I had the same shot. What? <laughs> for one second, I just like tuned out for one second. I'm like, what did you just say? Thank you. You came back and you're like, Darkie, what the fuck? Yes. Like, no, no, no. I, yeah, nope. 
<laughs> I had no. the same thing that she had. My Jar asshole like, tightened. I was did like, "Did you know that?" Like the Sid Wilson from Slipknot has a kid with Kelly with Kelly Osbourne. I had the same like shock when I discovered what? that. I was like, "Wait, what?" Oh. <laughs> you can call me dark. I cannot actually. <laughs> I actually can't. But <laughs> I'm dead. I left my body. I left my body. <laughs> I left my body. I am no longer here. This is your channel now. Just take it. <laughs> As a white person, as soon as you hear that statement, you just back away and you go, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just put your stuff down. And you just walk away. You start a new life somewhere else. Oh Audra is God. dead. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh, I actually cannot. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I never slip not. Oh, I have that's a good live show. Yeah. Oh, I do you remember my her? Mind. Do you remember like her little faux pas? It's all over TikTok. That... You haven't seen this happening on TikTok all day? Oh, they're bringing it back up about her yes. saying Donald Trump. <laughs> Yes, just I've shared so many TikToks where they're like, <laughs> oh god, oh god, like I fucking I cramp my whole body. Like somebody cramping. goes, I mean, if all the dark skinned black women are wiped off of the planet, who's gonna date Joshua Jackson? I mean, like not not as an. <laughs> I'm dead. Some... <laughs> Teresa, you have got to get on Black Talk. I we are having. What to... <sighs> <laughs> you keep send send me TikToks so I can get. On the algorithm. Yeah. I am just on boring algorithm time. I need fun things. Yeah, I like I react to stuff from time to time and I hope that they don't get yeah. anywhere because like this is another reason why I'm like, just don't make me big on social media because then all of my weird, like thirsty <laughs> <laughs> all of my strange <laughs> thirsty talks are gonna come to light. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh -uh. That's why I was well, I was funny today because me and Alex were talking about like things going viral, and he was like, uh he, he said to me, like, I'm actually happy that none of your videos ever went, like, really, truly viral. Yeah. I said, oh, me too. I don't wish that upon anybody. No, it's awful. I'm happy being a small little fish in a giant pond because that is just terrifying. It's like panic oh. inducing. It's even panic inducing if one of your videos just does well, well more yeah. well than another video. It's like it's oh, stressful because yeah. you're like, oh, oh, yeah. okay, I have to make sure I'm that awesome again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, to live, to be like a, a one hit wonder. Oh. Oh, no. I Kevin Bacon isn't doing it for me right now. I've seen the Kevin Bacon. And, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. no. I like the, like, there was a mid-Bacon around that time where he did that horror movie, horror-ish movie, where they kept playing Paint It Black in the background. Which one was that? Stir of Echoes. Oh, my God. The way I had funny? to, like, listen to the song, I was dancing to it to get the name. I'm like, dun, 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 Stir of Echoes. Oh my god, that's right, Elena Douglas and him. That movie mm -hmm. is heartbreaking. Yeah, every single time I watch it, because I forget every time because ADHD yeah. just goes like boom, and then I'll go like, oh, stir of echoes. I'm like, oh my god, why did I watch this? And I forgot <laughs> that this is how it goes. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Oh my god, oh my god, my little babies. Ugh. I just anyways. realized the time. Yeah, actually. you've got to go. I've got to go. I've got another what twelve hours, and it's going to be raining tomorrow. Oh, no, it's gonna be great. Well, first of all, I want to say a special thank you to Audra for coming to hang out, <laughs> and I, thank you, thanks to everyone that was just sitting here, just letting us just talk about fucking nonsense <laughs> and weirdness and contributing and just just being sweet overall. Everything yeah. that you want to know about Audra is linked down below. Oh, and oh yeah, I put I put your your Patreon, <gasps> your Twitch, all your stuff. Oh down my there. God, you did the thing. I did the thing. You're I was so like, professional. Go check out Audra, baby. Go check, and if you have not seen Audra before, you're fucking missing out. Go check out Audra. Uh, make Audra feel overwhelmed <laughs> when something <laughs> just when fucking YouTube. goes. <laughs> yeah, when YouTube just goes wild, and next thing you know, it's like almost twenty thousand. You're just like, <laughs> make Audra feel awkward. <laughs> listen, listen. Make nervous goat farts. Yeah. <laughs> nervous goat farts. Honestly, you know what would be really nice if um if we have Emily, we should do this again when I'm all settled in a new spot. Yeah. And like have like a little fun like hey. Tres leches. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And have a Even little though I'm chat. you know I'm chocolate leches. <laughs> I don't know how to say chocolate in Espanol. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could totally do that. 
But no, it'd be really fun. And we could like hang out and shoot the shit and all that stuff. But yeah. I just want to thank you for hanging out with me and, and coming on and, you know, being your fucking fabulous self. I appreciate it. Thank you it. for asking me. You know, I'm always, like, as soon as you ask, I was like, whatever you need, I'm there. I will always I hang out with you. Audra's the fucking, just the best. The best. Fucking, really everyone weird. needs an Audra in their life, all right? <laughs> If you don't have an Audra, you are fucking up, okay? Listen, I'm and hoping Emily. that I can do a stream maybe tomorrow night, but probably Tuesday in the random daytime. So just be on the lookout, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Ring that notification bell, all right? <laughs> Sign up to all the shit. Sign all the shit. <laughs> all right, my little, I don't know. I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> need to do alien bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right my little angels i will have a video up tomorrow and i don't know that's it i'll have a video up tomorrow it's fine it's my beauty lish lucky bag was i lucky you'll find out and that's all i got and <laughs> bye. bye have a good night y'all bye